Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are here today because I have a very exciting video for you. Even though I'm sure it's more exciting for me than for you, but me being so excited hopefully will make this video also quite exciting. Anyway, the thing is I got mail today. You can't tell what it is. There is my name. <laughs> you can't tell what it is, can you? It's my first Illumicrate box. So I want to just unbox it with you and uh, see what's inside. So I finally decided to go for it and uh, try this Illumicrate box that I've seen around so many in so many places and Finally today I received my first box. This is the January box and it came this late because well it's from it's sent from the UK so it takes some time to get to Sweden and it also was sent late because the book in here was released at the end of January. So it came quite late but um, I'm not gonna complain. It's, it's gonna be still great I'm sure. Um, the thing is now I started to unpack the box expecting there will be the you know the famous yellow box inside. But I just opened the box and it's just everything in here. There is no box. <laughs> there is no box inside. So to compensate for that, for the beautiful yellow box, I am wearing yellow, <laughs> yellow shirt, yellow sweater. So we have at least some yellow. But anyway, let's just jump right into unboxing. Here we have the theme was Royal Secrets. And it is a big like a booklet like this that has like everything uh, described what's in it, in the box and then uh, February's theme on the back. So I will be telling you or I will be reading uh, what everything is as I unbox it uh, so I don't have to go back to it later on. So let's just go we have paper <laughs> and unbox stuff. Let's start with this. This is Piece Your Own Story, We Hunt the Flames by Hafsa, Hafsa, ooh, I don't know what the last name is. And the art is gorgeous and it is a puzzle. And man, do I love puzzle. It is really big pieces, so I don't know how many pieces it is inside, but this is amazing. I love puzzles, so this is great. I never read this book or this series, um, but... The art is gorgeous. I love the box. Can reuse it for something else. This is gorgeous. It is We Hunt the Flame Puzzle Story. Artwork by Lesia Blackbird and designed by Chatinora. Chetinora. Our latest puzzle story features Zafira and Nasir from We Hunt the Flames. I will uh, write it all down below so it's easier for you to see uh, as well. And so yeah, that's the first thing and I think that's really beautiful. Great! Next thing up we have what looks like socks with... I'm not sure... I'm not sure what that is actually. That is really simple white cozy, fuzzy, warm socks and well, I live in Sweden so this is absolutely perfect and warm socks are always, always useful, always needed to see without the plastic on it. There we go. And it's the same on the opposite side. So you even know which one is left, which one is right. <laughs> and this is under the orange tree socks. Designed by Alicia Ramos Castillo. Keep cozy this winter with these cute fluffy socks inspired by the prairie of the orange tree. That's amazing. It's about time to read the book as well. I don't own it, but uh, I've always thought it looked great. So this is beautiful. Next we have... What is this? Don't know what it is at all. Let's unpack it. And I still don't know what this is. You're a survivor. Okay. If I can put it in, I am. 
I'm trying to fit this in. It's not working. Okay, there. So I imagine that's a phone holder. Could be a phone holder. I'll show you just in a second. Yeah, you're a survivor phone holder. Designed by Noon Designs. No one designs. No one designs. This super handy phone holder is, is inspired by the prison healer. The last time I used a phone holder was like 15 years ago. I'm not sure this is useful these days, but could give it a try. It's really pretty. I love the colors. I like the design. There, maybe you can see better now. Here it says you are a survivor. I don't think I'll be using this much, but maybe I could hold something else against it. Any ideas? <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. But that's uh, really pretty as well. Um, next we have... Ooh, yes! The Never Tilting World! Oh, I, I wanted to read that for so long. That sounds amazing. I haven't read it. Um, it is this gorgeous. I love the design. I love this so much. There we are. And then we have its its pins. Oh my god! Look at it. I don't know if you can see. But it's so gorgeous, it's a different thing from both sides. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Night and day rule from their two thrones. So here we have night and here we have day. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. I need to read it so I can wear this because this is beautiful. It is night and day spinning pendant. Artwork by Joan Palmer. This standing spinning pendant necklace is inspired by the never tilting world. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Love it. Gorgeous. Yes, maybe I can put it on right away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Okay. And then we have a book a bag. And in there we have a book. I didn't know there were two books in this box. What? This is The Ivory Key by Akshaya Raman. Look at that gorgeous cover. That is just beautiful. And the edges. Sprayed blue edges. This is beautiful. And there is a introduction by the author and signature. Okay, what is this about? Let's see. Vera is desperate to establish her legacy as a revered, revered Maharami of Ashoka. But with the country's only query running out of magic, a precious resource that has kept Ashoka safe from conflict for centuries, she can no longer protect her citizens from the looming threat of war. Vera's only hope is to find a mysterious artifact of legend, the Ivory Key. But in order to retrieve it, she must reunite with her estranged siblings who have taken very different paths. Vira, Ronak, Ke Caleb, and Runaway Ria each have something to gain from finding the ivory key and even more to lose if they fail. But with each sibling harboring secrets, the very thing that brought them together could tear apart their family and their world for good. Wow. That, that sounds really cool, but oh my gosh, the cover! I can't! Look at the blue foiling. Oh my god, I love this. This is so beautiful. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. Okay. Then we have a letter from the author of The Ivory Key. Uh, I'm not gonna read it for you, but uh, I, I, I really like that, to have that. And then we come to the main book. I don't know if you know what it is, if you've seen the, the box around, the unboxing, but let me just... Okay, let's see. Oh, are you kidding me? Look how gorgeous. This this woven kingdom by Tahere Mafi.
Blue also sprayed blue edges. Beautiful sprayed edges. And then, ooh, we don't have a dust, dust jacket, which is really cool. I, I never see that anymore. I grew up in Slovakia and this was the kind of books we always had. We would always have this kind of like hard bags without dust jackets. And I love that, I miss that. But this is one of those, that's brilliant. And we have another letter here is artwork. And a letter from the author of this book. And yeah. This is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is author of the Shadow Me series. I haven't read those. But this book looks absolutely brilliant. So what does it say? Clashing Empires, Forbidden Romance and a Long Forgotten Queen Destined to Save Her People. To all the world, Alize is a disposable servant, not the long lost heir to an ancient Jin kingdom forced to hide in plain sight. The Crown Prince Camran has heard the prophecies foretelling the death of his king, but he could never have imagined that the servant girl with the strange eyes, the girl he can't put out of his mind, would one day soon uproot his kingdom and the world. That sounds pretty cool. I think this is a, a Middle East inspired fantasy and yeah, I just, I know about it as much as you right now and I absolutely love it. Oh my god, this is probably the most beautiful book I own right now. Two books in one box. I didn't, I didn't know there would be two books in here. Look at them. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh. Can we just take an extra moment to adore these? They look much better live than on camera, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, that's beautiful box. And I would like to wrap it up with this and this gorgeous artwork. You can see it's a Middle East inspired. You can see the building in the background, the architecture. That's really pretty. Um, yeah, that's, that's it. And thank you very much for watching. And I, I simply can't wait for another Illumicrate box. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm, I'm stunned. Wow, I didn't expect this. Beautiful. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.